Hello everyone, my name is Ionus Cernica and I'm presenting Hack the Hackers Leaking Data over SSL TLS. I'll have a short introduction about uh, blind injections, what is a blind injection, then problems that may appear with blind injections, scenario and, and challenges when we are exploiting the blind injection, injection, blind injection over SSL TLS, then the demo time with SQL map, the most used penetration testing tool for when it comes to uh, SQL injections. And conclusion, who am I? I'm a security researcher for uh, Future Networks 5G Lab. I'm also a PhD student at the Depart Department of Computer uh, Science, Politecnica Bucharest, CTF player, penetration tester, entrepreneur. Uh, actually, this research was done uh, at my PhD and I tried to innovate based on this research. I tried to, to introduce a new layer of security for web applications and uh, this was one of the component of that layer uh, and uh, we ran out of funds <laughs> and uh, it's on we take a break from the project and the former bug, bug bounty hunter i used to to be involved in many pro, uh, bug bounty programs uh, special thanks thanks for pen, pen test tools uh, they have the best online penetration testing platform you should try it uh, they give you a gift quick trials you have to visit their website um, I thank them because they are financially supporting me for being in Vegas and have this presentation there blind injection uh, it's about when you are trying to interrogate the server for true and forces in order to take uh, one byte at a time from the information you target this is done by boolean based this uh, technique is done to boolean or time-based and the most cases where you will encounter this technique will be at the SQL injection vulnerability so you may heard about blind injection blind, blind SQL injection the problem uh, we can distinguish the true forces from the encrypted traffic just looking on the length of the responses this is for the boolean and uh, just uh, looking at the delays between the packets between the responses and this is for time based uh, maybe it's not a problem maybe it is let's see if this is the real problem no the real problem is something else it's belost belost uh, it's a new hacking technique a passive one it refers to blind injection leak over ssl tls it's a passive attack as i already said no interaction with the victim with the hacker which is or penetration tester which is uh, extracting extracting data from the server and uh, this is because blind injection exploits are written in a predictable way so how's that we have the f which is the method char set binary search you will see in the next next slide then we have the two types of output that we are taking taking from the encrypted traffic the two types of output one is true and the other one should be false and the result the n which is the input to the method to the function is the leak if you can suppose the method and the two types of output you can find it's a feasible brute force then you can find the leak by reversing the steps it's an easy it, it's very easy to do that known method methods of exploiting with blind technique so this is these are the methods which uh, we are we, we, are, we should find when we are looking for blind injection over SSL TLSA. The char set method, which you have the letters and the digits, and you are st starting to take the first letter A in this case and interrogate the server, is the first letter of the information A, and maybe he said false. Then you go to B, you go to C, till you, you have a true from the server, and the server say, yes, this is the D letter from the, uh, from the information, the first letter of the information, is d good job go to the second one and so on so we can reverse if you suppose that the hacker uh, did this the char set and used a b c d zero one two three or zero one we will have this this is challenging you will see uh, in the next slides uh, but uh, this is the way how this uh, work because uh, because uh, most of the hackers use this in their scripts the binary search uh, we can use also as a exploiting the as a method for exploiting the blind technique uh, the binary search which which is uh, 
an optimized way to extract data from the servers. The SQL map we, uh, is doing this, and uh, it's an improved way of the binary search because it's not on the RSG. He's starting with uh, uh, with the printable characters, in, and he's starting with the letters. Then it has some. Um, uh, some changes on the binary, its binary search, and uh, we have a demo with the SQL map, and you'll, you'll see that it's very easy to reverse the steps. And uh, bit shifting, again, it's not so common, but uh, it's a method, a known method, and uh, I encounter it in a tool, which uh, it was doing, uh, it, w it was doing uh, SQL injection. Challenges with the extraction methods. Uh, no challenges uh, when we are dealing with optimization techniques like binary search or bit shifting because we already know the code, how, it, how they are doing, and it's easy to reverse the steps. But we are, we are having some challenges when it came about the uh, char set method because uh, here it was the biggest challenge. Okay, mm. biggest challenge. Uh, uh, yes, it was the biggest challenge. It was uh, because uh, we don't know where uh, are the letters. If Based if the hacker started with the letter, then the digit, or his chart set is uh, uh, his his chart, chart set starts with digit, then the letters, and uh, you should brute force this their position by rotating the output and looking on the output, uh, make a text recognition or something like this to to see the to to extract the database. Um, Exploit, uh, how you exploit this over SSL TLS, over this protocol, uh, it's an important one. We have the length uh, of the packets, we are using the length of the packets for Boolean based and we are, we are using the time, the delays between the packets to find the truth, true from the server when, it's, uh, when, it, when it comes the time based. Uh, in some cipher there is a padding involved so we still exploit this problem because it would work if the block if the block size it's um, is smaller than the difference between true and falses. So true and falses will be differentiated by a huge uh, length. Uh, and as a disclaimer, it's not a problem with SSL TLS protocol. The problem is in the way we are written uh, the exploits to exploit this type of attack. Um, scenarios of exploiting, we have the penetration testing company which is doing a penetration test and uh, uh, our pen tester is extracting with SQL map uh, the database from a um, uh, vulnerable web application. And it um, can be a huge problem because someone with the encrypted traffic from his company or, some, or the internet service provider, because this is the second scenario, can look at his traffic and take reverse the steps and take the same database as the penetration test tester did. This will be included, this scenario will be in our demo. You will see later. Our internet service provider which has all the traffic and he can start digging for information, start digging for database where our script kiddies or even professional hackers or penetration testers are trying to exploit uh, databases and our internet service provider, provider can take the same database. And the third one may be one more reason why large countries have a strategic interest to pass the traffic of another country to their infrastructure. Mm, maybe it could be a reason, I don't know. <laughs> Over Tor, future work. I was thinking uh, at Tor, but I don't have Excel notes, but uh, if you have Excel notes, maybe it be a challenging. It, it is challenging to to see what happened there, and if a script kid or a penetration uh, or a hacker, a professional one, will uh, dump some database in the wild, and you should be aware of the cell padding. And if you are lucky enough that your true and falses are bigger than the cell size of the padding in Tor, then the block size. It's, uh, it's smaller than the difference between true and false, then you are lucky and you can recuperate the information uh, exactly like the hacker did. Tools and exploit uh, database. We try to analyze some tools, we, we analyze some tools, we analyze some exploits from exploit database, databases, and with no exception, we find that uh, all those tools and all those uh, scripts uh, 
that uh, were supposed to exploit blind injections were written in, a in an unsafe way. And there is a big impact on the, uh, when they are trying to exploit. When they are trying to exploit, uh, there is a big problem because uh, someone can reverse the steps much more if they know with uh, what tool was made that extraction. And um, now for the demo, we are, we, are, we are using the SQL map. We try to, to contact the two main contributors from uh, SQL map. We didn't have a reply for uh, two months ago. And um, we are doing this demo because even I would hide from you that SQL map, and I wouldn't say a word about SQL map. Most of you guys already think about SQL map that it may have the same problem, this problem, and you can check it very, very easily. So let's start the demo. Uh, we have uh, a penetration tester which already started his SQL map against a vulnerable web application. The SQL map will find the, the exploit, the vulnerability, and will confirm it. Um, in the meantime, the, we have three parties. The man in the middle starts a CTCT dump, and he will get the encrypted traffic. Uh, the SQL map, as you can see, already find the vulnerability, confirm it, and exploiting it. So he's dumping data from the vulnerable web app. Man in the middle, he's listening on the, on the, tra on the traffic. He's taking the traffic. He's dumping all the traffic, even if it's encrypted. Um, we will see in seconds that uh, that traffic it's all about uh, server hello and then the encrypted packets, and from those encrypted traffic traffic will dump some data like packet lengths. Now we are doing this. So I will open with Wireshark. You will see that there is an encrypted traffic. Okay. <clears throat> so here it is. Look, encrypted traffic server client exchange, hello and so on. Then we are trying to dump some data packet lengths to a CVS file. With that, with that uh, file, we, uh, we, we are running a Python script to take the packet lengths from the vulnerable web app to the penetration tester, those packet lengths we are interested in. And uh, from those packet lengths, we'll see what packet lengths are for true and what are for falses. And we'll, we'll have a file with false and truths, and we'll feed our local SQL map with the same, with the same false and truths. Right now, I'm creating on the man in the middle uh, a database. Uh, it doesn't have any connection to the da database that was uh, uh, exploited before in the vulnerable web app. You can create any database. It's a dummy one, like the other one, but Let's suppose that is a real one. Um, and now uh, we are trying to, to start an SQL map. Man in the middle will start an SQL map on his local machine against his database, which is already vulnerable to SQL injection with a web app, through a web, web application on the local machine. And right away before SQL map starts to uh, exploit that database, the man in the middle will start uh, feeding the SQL map with the same responses as the vulnerable web app feeds the pen tester. And you'll see that the, the SQL map will have the same, the same uh, results as the pen tester. The SQL map from the man in the middle will have the same results as the SQL map from the pen tester. So right now we are, uh, we are, uh, uh, we are having the the application which responds with the same true and false from, as the vulnerable web ex, uh, responded to the penetration tester. <coughs> and now we save the file. We have the responses, false and true. And as you can see, the SQL map is extracting the same data as the SQL map from the penetration tester. <laughs> Let's see till the end. 
So the message from the database was extracted too. So what happened? So what we did in the demo, the pen tested from a company, company A, exploit a vulnerable web application with SPL map. The man in the middle took the encrypted traffic through a TCP dump and he did a passive attack. How he did this passive attack? So it was no interaction between the man in the middle and the other two parties, web application and the penetration tester, no interaction. So this, is, this can have a big impact, this problem I found. So he extracted the true enforcers from packet lengths from the encrypted traffic. So it doesn't matter if it's encrypted or if not encrypted, it doesn't matter. He just took the, the packet lengths and feed his local SQL map with the same true enforcers to leak the data. Or you can reverse these steps and create a, a, a tool that do the same, but uh, much faster. I did this to be, to see the impact, uh, to, to understand uh, the impact much uh, easy, in an easy way. So the, the, the result, it was that the man in the middle, as you can see in this uh, picture, took the same information as the pen tester did with the vulnerable web app. So this can be very tricky because when, when you are using SQL map, you should consider this. Your, dat your data, your extract you are extracting data from uh, vulnerable web applications and those extracted data, those dumped databases can be extracted by anyone only with your encrypted traffic. And it's not, uh, there are many cases where you can have problems like this char set method. So how, how can you fix this problem? For the char set method, it's an easy way to, to shuffle the order of the characters in the char set and only your exploit knows the, the position of each character and the, the someone like the man in the middle will not know ever. And for the binary search, you should add some extra steps. Of course, you'll, uh, it will have a impact on the optimization because binary search uh, tries to optimize the process. You'll have extra steps, but uh, uh, it's safer for you to, to add those extra steps. Conclusion, so the way we are writing blind injection uh, exploits uh, should be uh, should be written in a way in such a way that no one can uh, uh, reverse the steps of the of the communication between the exploit and vulnerable application. When we want to optimize the blind injection attacks, we must consider inserting random steps for uh, for the optimization algorithms like uh, binary search or bit shifting or any other type of, of uh, optimization. And um, as a defensive tech, you can consider this. Uh, I try to, so as I said, at my PhD, I tried to introduce a new layer of uh, security for web applications. Okay, it's a threat hunting, uh, it's, not, it's a layer because uh, uh, it's post exploitation, it's a threat hunting, like a threat hunting. And uh, what I was trying to do was to find ways to confirm attacks without looking at the payload. So, it, so the payload complexity doesn't matter. We are looking for other, other things in the, in the data. Like in this case, the packet lanes and confirm an SQL injection and so on. Maybe some attackers want to take this in consideration. They will need full optimization, they want to take the data as fast as possible, so maybe can be feasible as a defensive technique, even those, thing, those problems with blind injection will be known from today. Thank you, if you have questions, please ask me.